Hello, good friends, it's the Twy Keen, and I'm here to give you an end of the year update. 2022 has mainly been a stream heavy year for me, with very casual looking streams and even two seasons of slugger predictions. I expected to continue into the new year, but I'm going to set some goals for the channel since I'm back to my normal work schedule for the first time since early December of 2020. I've mainly had to settle into this new schedule for the past couple weeks to get myself used to it before I could set these goals. Before I mention these goals, I want to first announce that I'm going to be having a New Year's Eve mini marathon stream set for Saturday, December 31st starting at 2 p.m. Central Time and going till roughly 8 or 9 p.m. Central. We'll start it with Name That Tune and other activities such as Online Mario Party, Fall Guys, Jackbox, and we'll conclude with bob -omb Derby as a New Year's Eve fireworks celebration. Now on to my channel goals. My first goal is to have regular uploads of recorded LPs I've put aside for close to a year now. Those will mainly be the Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion Project and Mario Golf World Tour Mooncoin Challenges to start off. I'm going to hold off on announcing other ones I've got in mind until after I get those other ones finished. So yeah, I'm going to try to bring back the kind of recording fun I had in my early to middle years of my channel as I've watched back a few videos of mine from years past. Next goal is to have a more consistent streaming schedule. Of course, 2022 was somewhat a down year for streaming as I was very overwhelmed with my work schedule that I'd rather go for a walk, drive, or play games on my own in private instead of streaming. Now that I have a more balanced work schedule, I can bring back the kind of schedule I had close to a year and a half ago. It will be Thursdays through Sundays only, with Mondays being used for sluggers only during a prediction season. Speaking of sluggers predictions, I will chat about that later, as I'm not quite ready to announce Season 5 just yet, but understand that it will come in the next several weeks when I'm ready. Anyways, here is the kind of streaming schedule I have in place which feels roughly the same as before, but I've decided to make certain days of the month solely for that purpose. Thursdays will be used for Let's Plays like usual, I'll first announce that Yoshi's Island will be finished first. Then I've decided to abandon that one schedule I had for future LP streams a few years back and just put out the next three after Yoshi. Those next three uh, games for the moment are Super Mario 3D Land for 3DS, Breath of the Wild, and Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. As for how long these will each take, we'll see what happens but I'd at least like to complete a modest amount of Breath of the Wild before Zelda Tears of the Kingdom comes out. And that's the plan for Thursday nights. Fridays will be set as challenges like always, but I've decided to set each Friday of the month up for certain challenges. For instance, the first Friday of each month will be Mario Party 9 Star Handicaps. I will be playing all the Mario Party 3 through 7 boards in a randomized order with a 9 star handicap for each AI player. Let's see how I do with that. The second Friday of each month will be speedruns. They will usually be the Mario Party 8 and 9 story modes, but I'm also going to try to bring back ones like New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe Nabbit runs and even Diddy Con Racing. I won't rotate them but rather bring in the one I feel most confident in doing at that time. Now, the third and fourth Fridays of the month will come as big, big surprises to you all. Third Friday will be randomizer runs. I won't factor speedrunning into it as much, but it's just meant to be very laid back and complete as much as I can. I will mostly be doing Donkey Kong 64, as I have the most knowledge of that from a collection perspective but I'm going to see what I can do for other titles down the road, so give me a while to plan out other randomizers. And finally, the fourth Fridays, as well as fifth Fridays, whenever that occurs, will be a Pokemon Nuzlocke. I have a few Pokemon games I can do this with, but I want to start with, like, the small scale titles. I'll make the challenge basic at first, but branch it out to certain types of Pokemon or others. We'll see how it goes. And those are my Friday streaming plans. If I had to skip any of them for important reasons, 
I will see if I can push it back to the following Sunday, or if not, wait till next month to play it. I hope this will be a very fun and intriguing way to have Friday streams. Alright, let's move on to Saturday streaming plans, which will be set as community-based streams like before. This will be a very simple schedule to look forward to. On the first Saturday of each month, I will be doing Jackbox games. Pretty much self-explanatory for that. The second Saturday of each month will be Online Mario Party, with two playing sessions, 15 turns on Superstars, and 20 turns for N64 Switch Online. The boards will be chosen by Wheel Decide and will be shown at the start of the stream. Now for the third Saturday of the month, those will be Online Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Races and Battles. That is self-explanatory on its own too. For fourth Saturdays, it will be Fall Guys, pretty much like how we played online matches already. And for the once in a while fifth Saturday of the month, which in 2023 will be in the months of April, July, September, and December, that will be used for Name That Game Tune. That kind of stream will be run like normal with my Discord friends sending me playlists. I kind of said I'd be doing that Name That Game Tune only once in a while, and I figured the fifth Saturday of the month would be the best way to do it. Hope you guys will like the Saturday streaming plans. Just like the Friday ones, if I have to skip any of them, I'll push it to the following Sunday or just wait till next month to play it. And now for Sundays, which are set to be anything. Sundays will be used for makeup streams of any kind, including way back when ones, but only if I'm up for it, and it will be mostly streams from just the past few days I missed. Sundays could also be used for one-off games, or just a standard day off for me if I'm not up for streaming that day. And that's how I will approach Sundays on my channel. I'll bet some of this stuff may have confused some of you as to what I have planned, but I will be using one of those stream schedule graphics I've seen some people use to promote their upcoming streams on a weekly basis. I'll show you how it looks as an example. I think that will give it a lot more style and appeal. So yeah, I think that will about do it for my end of the year update. Again, I hope to get back into the strain of consistency and the new year should give me a fresh start to it and later on. I'll give an update for when I'm ready to announce Season 5 of Slugger's Predictions. See you guys later and have a happy new year.